everybody, I'm Ms. Reyna. I am one of your Youth Services Librarians here at Prosper Community Library. Today I'm going to be showing you guys an adorable craft you can pick up at the library and then take home to do yourself. That is this Groundhog on a paper plate. <laughs> the point of this is actually to see if the Groundhog is going to cast his shadow or not. So those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, it is actually for Groundhog Day. That's coming up very soon on February 2nd. It takes place on that day every year. And basically what it means is if the groundhog comes out and emerges from his hole on February 2nd and it's a sunny day and his shadow is cast, it means that winter will last another six weeks. However, if it's a cloudy day and there is no shadow, it means that spring will come early. So, what do you think is going to happen this year? What do you want to happen this year? Hmm, start guessing. <laughs> and of course, you can make your little groundhog and put it outside and on February 2nd, you can see if the shadow is cast or not. And we'll see if we're going to have a longer winter. <laughs> so I will show you guys how to make this craft. But before we get started, I want to show you guys a little bit more about Groundhog Day so you can get a little excited with me. I have some facts. I got these from sawschools.com. And apparently, according to this, the largest and most famous celebration for Groundhog Day in the United States is actually held in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. And the groundhog's name is Punxsutawney Bill. Also, the groundhog is known as Woodchuck. And of course, I have to give you a tongue twister with that. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would, as much as he could, and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. <laughs> Try to say that five times fast. I can't. <laughs> but you can. <laughs> Alrighty. Also, we have groundhogs eat a lot of food all summer. They become very fat and sleep all winter, and that is called hibernation. Lastly, the University of Dallas in Irving, Texas, so right around the corner, holds a Groundhog Day celebration each year, which is believed to be the second largest celebration in the United States after Punxsutawney. 20. So that might be something fun to do on February 2nd. You might as well, right? <laughs> okay, so let's get started on this craft. What you're gonna need are, it'll be in your craft bag, this little template of your groundhog. It's already drawn out for you. You can color it if you'd like, and then you're gonna cut it out. You're gonna have a half paper plate, and you're gonna have a quarter sheet of white paper. Pretty easy. There we go. You're also going to need some scissors from your house, some tape or some glue, and some crayons or whatever you'd like to decorate your little groundhog. And of course, you gotta give him a name if you want. Okay, so we're going to start by cutting out our groundhog. So I'm just going to use this template right here, and I like mine to be brown. So, I am not going to color my groundhog, but of course, you can if you want to. You're going to cut him out like this. And you also could grab a black marker and re outline the facial features if you want to. Also, you can use that when you're making his teeth. Or you can use a crayon, whatever your preference. You can put some glitter on them. I always like glitter. Okay. Then once you get your groundhog all cut up, you're going to leave the bottom portion, so you're not going to cut that off. So, as you can see here, instead of going across this way, I'm going the wrong way. So now I have a very long groundhog. And that is because I'm going to fold the bottom portion so it can go on my paper plate. So, 
go ahead and fold your groundhog. Like that. About that much should be good. Then, you're going to get your paper plate and you're going to color it. I made mine green and brown. Kind of like grass and the mud. I just kind of went like this. I did like a dark green and a light green. I did just a little bit of brown. There you go. Then you're going to get your white sheet and you're going to cut out some big teeth. third of the sheet, and then I'm going to cut that in half, and now you can get your black marker or black crayon or whatever color you want, I'll do purple this time, and you're going to draw a line that gets the in between his teeth. There you go. And you're going to glue it on where the teeth are on this drawing. going to get some tape or more glue. I think the tape works pretty well at keeping it in place though. And you're going to put it underneath the back side of the paper plate like this. Tape it on. And you want to tape it pretty good at the top so that way it kind of stays in place. Like that. And you're going to bend it a little bit. And it should stay up. Yay! There we go. There's my groundhog. <laughs> and if you want a little extra support, you can grab another piece of tape and then place it on the back to kind of keep him back a little bit. Like that. Whatever you want, though. So, what should we name him? I think I'll name him Bob. Bob the Groundhog. All right, and there's your groundhog. Hope you guys like this. Feel free to come get your kit from the library, and we'd love to see any pictures you have. And uh, have a good Groundhog Day.